easy GMAT DS number properties question. We will classify the question as a GMAT 600 level question. Concept tested is properties of absolute values of numbers. Is the product x, y less than 0? Is it negative? The question. Let us look at the statements in a while. These are the 5 answer options. Is x, y less than 0? The question. The answer is going to be an yes or a no. When is it an S? When x, y is less than 0. When is it a no? When x, y is either positive or it is equal to 0. When it is equal to 0, it is obviously not negative. When it is greater than 0, it is positive, therefore it is not negative. So, both of these possibilities for a no. When it is negative, the possibility is an S. Now, product of two numbers will be negative when one of them is positive and the other is negative. So, x could be positive, y negative, x negative, y positive both these numbers the product is going to be positive for this positive case x y will be greater than 0 when both are positive or both are negative x y will be equal to 0 when 0 and this is not equal to 0 not equal to 0 equal to 0 both are zeros right at least one of these two numbers is 0 the product is 0 the product is positive when both are positive or both are negative the product is negative when one is positive and the other is negative so we kind of understood when things work the way they work right when is the data sufficient for an yes no question the data is sufficient when we have a definite yes or a definite no right so these are things probably already know but we are just spelling it out to be absolutely clear that there is nothing that we have missed out in the process of analyzing the question stem start with statement 1 let's see what that has to tell us 5 into modulus of x plus modulus of y is equal to 0 two equation one equation two variable in the face of it, we will say, hey, I know nothing about x or y. How can I do something about it? But hold on. What do we know about modulus of any number? Modulus of x, comma, modulus of y, for that matter, modulus of any number cannot be negative. So, modulus of x, comma, modulus of y can both be positive, both positive, both zeros, one positive and one number is a zero these are the three possibilities that we have let's start with both of them being positive five times a positive number plus another positive number can it ever be zero so this is ruled out so both of them cannot be positive both zeros five times zero plus zero is equal to zero this certainly is a possibility can one of the numbers be positive and the other is zero so five times a positive number is positive plus zero is a positive number it's not zero conversely 5 times 0 plus a positive number will also not be equal to 0. So, 1 positive and 1 0 is also ruled out. So, if this equation has to hold good, that is possible only when modulus of x and modulus of y are both zeros. If modulus of x and modulus of y are zeros, then x comma y both will be equal to 0. x is equal to y is equal to 0. Product x y is equal to 0. x y is equal to 0. We know the answer to the question. Is x y pos is x y negative is what the question is. If x y equals 0, the answer to our question is a definite no. Statement 1 alone is sufficient to answer the question. Answer options when a 1 is sufficient would be a or d. Take a look at statement 2. Could pause the video at this point, evaluate the statement, see if you could come up with a similar conclusion here as well. Certainly, yes, we will have a look at it. Modulus of x plus 5 into modulus of y is equal to 0. We know that modulus of x comma modulus of y will be greater than or equal to 0. This is what it can be. It can never be negative, which means x modulus of x comma modulus of y, both positive is a possibility. Modulus of x comma modulus of y, one positive, one of the numbers is positive, the other number is 0. Modulus of x comma modulus of y, both 0, right. These are all the possibilities because modulus of a number can never be negative. So, it can be 0 or positive, both positive, both 0, one positive, one negative, uh, one positive, one 0. If both of them are positive, a positive number plus 5 times a positive number cannot be equal to 0. Statement 2 will not hold good in this scenario. One positive, one 0, x is a positive number, y is 0, let us say. So, positive number plus 5 times 0 is a positive number, which is not 0, not possible. If x is 0 and y is a positive number, modulus of y is a positive number, x is 0 plus 5 times a positive number will be positive that also cannot be equal to 0 that rules out this possibility also. So, if modulus of x plus 5 times modulus of y has to be 0 that is possible only when modulus of x and modulus of y both are equal to 0 which means x is equal to y is equal to 0. Again boils down to the fact that x y is equal to 0 question is is 
x y negative if it is equal to 0 it is not negative we have a conclusive novit statement 2 as well 1 and 2 each statement independently gave us a conclusive answer statements are independently sufficient choice d is the answer to the question